It looks like they're hiring. At the Bontan? Today on Healthy Junk Food, we're gonna rank everything from Banchan from greatest to least. It's more than these four things, but they have the logo on it, so it looks nice on camera. A little bit about Banchan. Founded in South Korea in 2002, Banchan is Korean for my hometown. Yeah. It's known for its fan favorite chicken, best chicken wings. The gold standard for fried chicken restaurant. Just like a screen full of accolades here, guys. This is not plagiarized, if you admit it. Let's go back to the restaurant because we were greeted with top star service, hot food, and we gotta eat it fresh and hot. Let's go. Bolton! <sighs> oh. Here we have takoyaki fried octopus dumplings takoyaki. drizzled with Japanese mayo, katsu sauce, and sprinkled with bonito flakes. Takoyaki is a ball-shaped Japanese snack takoyaki. made of wheat flour-based batter and cooked in a special molded pan. It is typically filled with minced or diced octopus, tempura scraps, pickled ginger, and green onion. Oh my heaven. It's like pancake dough stuffed with seafood. The flavor is delicious. Fried shumai. Shumai is a type of traditional Chinese dumpling. Dude, like the whole thing, just take it all in. While gyoza is Japanese, there are some key differences between the two. I'm gonna come, come back here and just get these things from now on, you know what I'm saying? So this is the honey mustard that goes with it. Ranch. Japanese mayo, bibimbap, spicy mayo, coleslaw, radish, cheese and fries, bikini fries. But I want you to try our bibimbap on a stone hot bowl oh. instead of the container. Bibim means mixing and bap refers to cooked rice topped with namul or kimchi, gochujang, soy sauce or denjang. A raw or fried egg and sliced meat are common additions. So it's like the ramen noodles, but you replace it with rice and a bunch of other different stuff. She thinks I know how to eat this. I don't know how to eat this. But you just have to mix it all together. Oh, that's so nice. Yeah, he's gonna mouth that whole thing down right now. That's why I put it in the hot stone. Oh, yeah, he loves it. Because that's the traditional. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's so hearty. Like, this food's so awesome. I'll just eat this, like, regularly. Like, I forget, like, this type of cuisine exists. He's number one. Bye. French fry. Ho oh. ho! How is it? Oh, my favorite. Mochi is a uh, glutinous rice mixture that's mixed up into a dumpling. Mango. Mmm. Chocolate. Mmm. Oh my goodness. Again, more food. It's not ours. That's good. Oh, it is ours. Yes. Mokban. Ho ho. Chicken katsu. Tapche. Kaboki. Godak. Picture. Bonton. Hey guys, real quick. I'm doing stand-up comedy at the Orlando Improv, April 13th. Tickets will be in the comments and description. I would love to see you guys there. Bibimbap is going number one. Shrimp, shumai, and then the takoyaki. Zucchini, I prefer over the fries, but however, these two are going in the playground. Yay! Doesn't count, they don't count. We're competing against actual meals, sides of this basic level, going to playground. They're just a fun time. Playground. Yeah. We have a new little thing going on. So, and the playground could be with where all the little piggies are here, so. I thought Mr. Pig was like sad and depressed. He is. But he's in the playground. He's an adult in a playground, so he's currently getting in trouble with the law. And then over here on the other side of the table, is that gonna be the graveyard? Yeah, I'm gonna buy some tombstones online. Next item! Woo! Oh, snap, what is this? This isn't chicken. I don't know. It looks like chicken, but it looks like chicken that's not bread. It looks like naked chicken. All right, this is definitely not a chopstick type of food. Woo! Yep, that's spicy. Banchan, you ain't bad. What the heck? This is like grilled chicken, though. This ain't fried. That's spicy. I got a little soy now. Oh, there's a little batter on this one. Soy is fire right now. Boom. Notably good. Yeah, let's hit up all the chicken right now. Boom! All on the bone. I went the same on these. I got the soy and I got the, the spicy. These are the wings, as you can tell. Oh man, man, I love that. So Asia, you do soy so properly. <clears throat> like, this is spicy. This is soy and spicy. Ah! Ah! Oh, what's going on, Banchan? Ah. Oh my gosh, that's Korean hot. I think someone was warned. Were you warned? Did anyone warn anybody? Dude, that was, that was on a whole different level. There's soy notes in it. You know, it's just part of the Asian um, ingredient. Soy is their salt. Yeah, I'm definitely going to soy garlic or whatever the thing is called all the time. Wings definitely better than breast. Phenomenal. Soy garlic, so much better. Because I don't like the heat, like let's be honest. Chicken wings, you're always gonna go ahead of chicken breasts. You are just a better meat. Oh, we got nuggies. If you're known for the chicken, I gotta try all the chicken. I believe this is spicy because of the, the red color. Bombs up. I can't do it, I can't. 
Just not as good? This is hot, this is spicy. No, that's some soy garlic on that. That's spicy though. Wait, why does the spicy one look like not the spicy one? All right, well, this one's spicy. That one's spicy. They're both spicy. Everything's spicy now. Oh, oh, bon chan. Ah. <sighs> I would say the nuggies are easier to eat than the grilled chicken. Nuggies are going right above the grilled chicken. Oh, oh. Nothing's hit the graveyard yet. Good for you. Something's gonna go in the graveyard. Something's gonna die today. What is this? Oh yeah, sword garlic and spicy dumpling. <sighs> I gotta get through this. We can do it. Do you want clean chopsticks? Oh no, that was spicy. All right, I'm assuming this is gonna be spicy. Pork pot stickers, eight piece, half and half. This is spicy. Ooh, it has soy garlic that's spicy. The soy garlic is spicy, but the spicy, spicy, spicy. They're both spicy. Ah! Okay, I get it. Korea, you like to take Chinese food and dunk it in your devil sauce. Yeah. <gasps> oh. It's good. It's a good pot sticker. I, I could do without the, the spicy sauce on it, though. Are you going to put the pot sticker above the chicken? Definitely below the chicken. It's more egg roll forward, if you know what I mean. No. Like the filling was like an egg roll. I like more meat. Sorry, pot sticker. You're lucky to be on there. Are you really putting the takoyaki above the fried chicken though? Yeah, because this is just fried chicken. If you're gonna go to freaking Bonchan and you wanna experience culture, that's what you gotta get. Next. What is it? Is this spicy? Oh my God, it's like a bowl of spice. That's all it is. This is just lava. It's gotta be a rice noodle because everything's rice and like Asia. It's like a little pillow. What is this? It's a main dish and it's called Tukukabakoki. Titiakbaki. Toboki. Toboki. Translated as stir fried rice cake made by boiling wheat flour cakes with fish cakes and vegetables and a red pepper sauce mixture. Topped with mozzarella cheese and kamari, which is a deep fried seaweed roll that is made by rolling glass noodles into nori sheets. Simmered in spicy sauce. Oh no. All right, let me try one of you guys. Tastes like spicy mochi. Not a fan. I feel like I'm eating rice dough. Maybe this is a fish cake. You liked it, huh? I think this is something that people in Korea probably like. But anyway, uh, this probably is delicious for some people. But uh, for me, this has to um, die right now. It's going in the graveyard. Dun, 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 I knew something would make it there. Munchie would probably love it. Although Munchie likes a lot of things I wouldn't eat. On to the next one. Woo! I got something good for you this time. Oh, yes. Hopefully I can pronounce the name. Pork buns. Looks like pork belly. Yeah, you got fried pork belly, a little bit of slaw on top, cucumber underneath, a bunch of sauce. This is probably like that katsu sauce or whatever they call it. Mm. Wow. Wow. Bow, wow, wow. It's good. It's okay. Bow, wow, wow, yippee, yo, it's okay. Maybe it's pork belly that's my issue. Maybe it sat around too long. Does it go in the graveyard or does it stay up? Munchie wants to know. A soft graveyard. But respectfully, of course. Dun, 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 dun. Bow, wow, 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 wow. I feel like the pork buns need to take a bow. Moving on. Uh, what we have before you is bulldog, uh, spicy chicken, stir fried with rice cakes, onions and hot pepper sauce, thinly sliced scallions, sesame seeds, and mozzarella cheese served with white rice. Bulldog or fire chicken is a heavily spiced barbecue chicken dish. The literal meaning of the name is fire chicken, where bull means fire and dock translates to chicken. Oh no. What are you talking about, the hot pepper sauce? It's gonna be spicy. Do you think? Well, it didn't say cooling pepper sauce. Mm-hmm, this sauce is incredible. Um, definitely not that spicy either. Okay, this is definitely a Julie has to try. Mm-hmm, it kind of tastes like a jjigae, like a Korean soup. Yeah. I like it. Yeah, that's good, yeah. Yummy. Bulldog, you're going over the takoyaki on that one. Yeah. Me hungry! So everything that I've been seeing so far says spicy, right? But everything I've eaten has different levels of spice. So they're like, are you not the same sauce? I'm confused. This is the, um, stop, gay. We have glass noodles, red pepper, carrots, onions, spinach, mushrooms, sesame seeds, and sliced marinated ribeye, stir fried with soy garlic sauce and sesame oil. Oh. And this is actually on their app rated one of the most popular dishes. I love clear Asian noodles. It's probably one of my favorite things. Brings me back to when I was a child and my parents forced me to go to Korean camp to learn my culture. I don't think we had anything good. Like they didn't give us no Korean fried chicken at this Korean camp. 
Mmm. All right. It's got the perfect amount of soy, perfect amount of sweet, perfect texture. Go number one. Chop day. Yeah. You a naughty boy. I'm staying up there. You can chop my che. Pop this open. Uh. Eggs, sesame seeds, red bell peppers, and onions. Cooked with soy garlic sauce and your choice of protein, which I chose kimchi bacon, and it looks freaking spicy. This is good fried rice. This is definitely better fried rice than any of these Chinese restaurants we order fried rice around. What makes a difference is it's got flavor, it's not bland. It's spicy, the green is like easy, it's not too sticky. Kimchi bacon is phenomenal. Because it's fried rice and it's not like, oh my God, like it's so crazy. I'm gonna have it go above the fried chicken. I think if you go to Banchan, I would, this is the order in which I would approve of people ordering. We're gonna have to put these uh, pot stickers in the graveyard. Not because this is my top 10, but because there's no more space on the table and I don't like looking at you anymore. I should have been eating this all along, honestly. Pickled radish is a palate cleanser and I have not been eating this the whole time, so here we go. And then underneath that is the coleslaw, which is normally served with the bulgogi. Yeah, bulgogi probably hit number one, but you know, for some reason I forgot to order that. I don't know, don't ask me. Oh my goodness, tastes like KFC. Mm -hmm. If they screwed that up, I'd be worried. Coleslaw and pickled radish, these are fun. So they're going to the playground. Uh, they are granted immunity. And for our final dish, the chicken katsu. Breaded chicken cutlet served with steamed rice and drizzled with katsu sauce and spicy mayo with a rather unique tinge of spicy flavor. Of course, katsu's spicy. Why wouldn't you be? Looks incredible. Wow. Simple, sweet, crunchy, spicy, lovely spicy. This is probably a very safe dish to get. I can't complain about that. It's a little underwhelming. Oh, let me try some of them sauces. That is super tasty. The bit is obvious. These sauces elevate the katsu dish. This is not a graveyard dish. This is totally alive and will survive many, many times at the Banchan. You do make the list, but you are at the bottom. This is my list. In first place, by a landslide. Chop okay. Next is the bimbimbap shrimp shumai. A must starter if you go. Bulldog, surprisingly not that spicy, but super flavorful. Takoyaki, fried rice with kimchi bacon. And of course, all the three chickens, the bone in, to the nugget, to the breast. And then in last place, the katsu. And of course, the graveyard's honorable mentions. Tuk tuk pook pookie. Pot stickers, pork buns, and dead to me. And then the playground, yay, the playground. The playground, the playground. And that's my entire list, folks. What did you think? Do you agree? Have you been to Banchan? If you haven't, try the things I suggest. And we'll see you next time. Another JP eats at Banchan. Because guess what? I'm going back.